This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. New addition to the facilities and capabilities of Access 2010 that hasn't been available in previous versions is the data type called calculated field. This allows you to add a new field into your table that calculates itself based on other values in the table. If we take our address book, underscore calculated field, our TBL contacts, right click and design. Now we have our fields in place, but we could add a new field that we will call full name. And in the data type, we've seen all the data types here already, but we haven't used as yet a calculated one. By choosing calculated as the data type, you'll find you get a pop-up box into which you need to then add the expression. So effectively the maths that will make up the calculated field. So because our calculated field is gonna be the full name, it's going to take a person's first name and stick together with a space and then stick on the surname. Now you'll notice that the SN has square brackets around it because I double clicked it from down here, but the FN doesn't because I typed it in. Either way, they'll both work because the field name doesn't have any spaces in. If the field name had spaces in, the square brackets become compulsory, not optional. This formula says take the first name, ampersand is the way of gluing items together, glue on a space. So I've put a space in speech marks to indicate I would like a physical space, a literal space character, and then glue on the surname. So it's going to take the first name and the surname and stick them together with a space between. Okay, that's a fairly straightforward calculated field. What you will see in the field properties is the expression appears here. So if you need to edit that expression or change it for something else, you can do that by clicking down here and making that change. You can see from the help on the right, it says the results of this calculation will be stored in the calculated column. Let's see if it works. So we need to save the table because we've changed the design of it and then view. We'll stick a first name in and a surname and then move all the way to the calculated field. And you can see that it's already worked out that the calculation is first name, space, surname. And it says Guy Vaccaro in there. And I have to do nothing. So there are plenty of uses for a calculated field. You could use one, for example, to work out the age, given that we hold the date of birth in our database. Let's add that one. So to cancel this data entry, because we haven't finished, is escape. Back into design. So if we want to calculate the age, it too is a calculated field. Now to work out someone's age, the math becomes quite messy. We need to take their date of birth. Yeah, but we need to take their date of birth away from today's date. Today's date in access is date open and close brackets. Take away person's date of birth. Now that will calculate how old that person is, but in days. I then need to divide the result of that formula. So I need to put that in brackets by the number of days in a year, so that's 365.25 to allow for leap years. So that will now work how old somebody is in years. However, because of the 0.25, we're going to get decimal places in the result as well. I'm not interested in the decimal places. So we're gonna actually add at the front of here a formula called int. The access is now telling me this will return the integer portion of a number, which is exactly what I'm after. So we open brackets there, we go to the end and we close brackets there. So it will do this set of brackets first, which is to take today's date, take away the date of birth. It'll divide the result of that calculation by 365.25 to then work out how old somebody is in years. And then we run an int on the resulting calculation to effectively throw away the decimal places. Okay, that formula drops itself into the expression. And we can go save. So we cannot use this expression in a calculated column. The reason that we are not allowed to use that expression in a calculated column 
is because date is a function that can return a different value every time the table is created. So every time you view the table, date value will be different. Therefore, the calculated value will be different. And the calculated fields cannot do that. They need to calculate their value and effectively remain at that value. The way around this is to slightly trick the system. How we're going to trick it is we're going to add a new field called date entered, and that will be a date time field. So this is going to store the date that the field was created. So the date the record was entered effectively. And it's going to do that by having a default value, which we saw earlier, of date. So this field, when a new record is entered, will automatically get today's date added into it. What we can then do with our calculated field is to change the date function here. So we'll delete that, including its open and close bracket, because that's part of the date function, and add in instead the date entered field. It will then take the date entered field, which will be calculated here as today's date for that particular entry, take away the date of birth, do the divide by 365.25, then return the integer value. This effectively is a trick. We're going to take the data entered, which will be given today's date, date of birth taken away from that, divide by 365.25, work out the integer value, and that will be the person's age. We save this, we preview, tab across to the date of birth, and we'll say 8 to 1966. Obviously, we haven't matched our mask. 8 to 1966. And then tab across. You'll see the date entered as today's date and the age has been calculated. The only drawback to this calculation is that that is the person's age when they were entered into the data. In a year's time, that will not change because this will not change. That's why the calculated field is happy to calculate that field because it's not a changing value. It uses this value and this value to work out the age, but this value will not change because the day entered was the day entered. That's not going to change. So if we want to work out a rolling age, we'll actually be using a query much later on in the course. But this is quite a useful way of working out effectively what should be fixed calculations, like the full name when we stuck the first name and surname together, like the age on entry. You might call the field age on entry, and that way it makes sense the value you might want to hold. So that's calculated fields. So that's calculated fields in a table brand new to Access 2010.